So I'm here at the National Fiat Convention. Yeah. We're here to uh, ask the important questions like which ice is the best one to get? The highest rate of returns. That's what we're all here to know. So when did you get into Fiat? <laughs> dark I don't know no I, I, I guess I'm not right I guess it's fine so I was thinking about doing a time-lapse here but as you can probably tell the lighting isn't great so but I'm here in Iowa yeah you can probably tell this isn't NY or LA why am I in Iowa well glad you asked I'm here to interview someone very important very special I'm here to get an honest opinion from a non-crypto enthusiast, his thoughts on Bitcoin. He lives in there. Let's see if he's home. Oh, this is exciting. Can I help you? Hi, it's, uh, it's me. Who are you? Cam, Crypto Daily, you haven't heard of me? Okay, note to self while editing, I want you to cut here and just move to the interview immediately. All right, well, thank you for agreeing to meet with me straight away after seeing and recognizing who I was, so. Absolutely. You've heard of Bitcoin? Yes. What, what, what do you know about Bitcoin? What I know and what I think I know are probably two different things. Mm -hmm. As far as I'm aware, I think it was the first cryptocurrency. It's been around for several years now. I'm assuming you haven't bought any Bitcoin. I have not, no. What would be your obstacles or reservations about getting into Bitcoin? Knowledge. I'd like to learn more about Bitcoin, yeah. about other cryptocurrencies. Yeah. I'd like to learn how the markets work mm. and when I feel I've got a little more knowledge. For example, I was to tell you it's been the best performing asset in existence for the last three years and probably the greatest investment vehicle of all time. That alone potentially might not be enough to sort of blindly buy it for yourself. You would still want to learn more. That would give me a good incentive to start buying. My biggest stumbling block right now is finding out where I can go to invest in cryptocurrency and how to invest in cryptocurrency. Would that be enough knowledge for yourself to get into something like this more? I think so, yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you, that was really interesting. So, yeah, not so much a totally random guy that was my brother-in-law but I thought it'd be interesting to get an average person's opinion because we're all crypto enthusiasts here and sometimes we might lose focus speaking of but I thought that was really interesting the biggest obstacle was where can I buy it where can I sell it that's so easily solved how many other people are out there who are kept from the truth simply because they don't know where to find it. I love this. Let me let me show you what I'm looking at. Eh? See? They're not beads. They are actually useful tripod legs. It's not like I would need three of them to keep myself entertained on a plane. 
Also, check this out. It's me and Superman. I'm wearing a, a waistcoat. I've never worn a waistcoat. That is a legit Photoshop job. I don't know what it is, so apparently it's something to do with... I don't know. <laughs> the guys behind it haven't emailed me, or at least I didn't see the email if they did. I think Super was saying it's some type of conference in somewhere. I like the look of it. Do you guys? Let me know. Also, something that came out of the New York and the LA meetups was people asking, why don't you create a community channel? A place where we can have a place to talk to other people about crypto. But I agree, I am going to start a community channel. It's something that I'm going to continue to promote. It's called iChat Crypto. It's going to be a collaborative effort. I'm going to try and get as many people involved in this as possible, including other YouTubers. I want to grow a massive community. It's going to be linked in every video description down below. To start off with, I'd like to do a AMA or whatever it's called, where you send me questions that you'd like me to answer in a video. You can PM me your questions that you'd like addressed in the next video by going to the Slack group linked below. I'm not going to get through to all of them. I already know that, but I will try and get through some of the best. Remember, PM me. Don't like flood the general chat with questions about me. It's not just for me. This channel is for everybody that wants to talk crypto. if they were sold for $300 per one, the developers have pre-mined $60 million worth of it. They need that much? I just don't think so. So I saw this on uh, cryptocurrency. This thing? Basically, I got an email from, I believe, the developer of Bitcoin Gold. I guess he might not have been, but he sent an email and he was, uh, I think it went to a few other YouTubers and he was trying to get some information out regarding the project. And I thought, okay, that's interesting. There's probably people like yourself that might be interested in that, so I'll have a look. But then I thought, how many other coin companies would love me to do that? But I'm willing to do this just because it's a fork of Bitcoin. I guess that's not really fair. Hold on, hold on, okay. I don't really like the idea of forks. I think that if you're gonna create a new coin, then create a new coin. But now that we've already had one fork, then I am pro more forks. I think when there was only one, when there was just Bitcoin Cash, it was a little bit more threatening that there's this other type of Bitcoin and there's only one. If there are many and they all get put in the same basket as Bitcoin altcoins, then it delegitimizes them and more legitimizes the single Bitcoin. At least that's my thoughts on it. Do you guys agree with me? I'd like to hear your thoughts on this. Pretty sure you do. Anything but a quiet studio. <laughs> <laughs> they're going for right now as soon as they actually hit the market in a few days time the sell orders are likely to overwhelm the markets and come plummeting down but this is cryptocurrency or in other words the Disneyland of money anything can happen I ran out of sunlight. That leaf scared me.
holiday is almost finished, so you can expect the same type of content to return that I used to do just before this holiday. I suppose that's going to please some people and it's not going to please others because they might like the travel vlog or they might be absolutely desperate to get back to the same green screen trees thing I was doing before. So Coinbase has officially finally decided to name the new B2X coins as B2X and not BTC which is pretty great news, pretty much spells a death knell for B2X. I think we all collectively say the same thing when, we, when that guy says, good job Coinbase, good job. Took your time, but well done. <laughs> I guess they need to make time though. They need to take the time. The big company, very big decision to make. In either case, I'll see you guys again soon.